Hi everyone, hello dear students. Today we're gonna open our first AutoCAD project. So the first thing we have to do is uh, double click on the AutoCAD program icon. While the program is initially saving, you look at the bar and you check if the program is loading up. Let's wait a couple of seconds while the program loads. And this is the first picture you get on your screen. You get the recent documents uh, title and it shows you uh, the recent documents you have worked on. But uh, as is your first AutoCAD project, you don't have to choose any of these because they should uh, another projects that people have worked on before. So. The first thing you have to do and the easiest way to open a new drawing is click on this button, start drawing. And as you can see, you open your first drawing. It, its name is uh, located right here in this tab and you look at the name it's a uh, drawing one because you haven't named it already, you haven't uh, saved it. You can add more drawings by click on this icon, the plus symbol, and you open new drawings, as many as you want. Let's close them. You can switch between them by clicking on the tab that contains the name of each drawing. So, let's close them. Another way to open a new drawing, because uh, in AutoCAD you have uh, many ways to get the same result, it's a uh, click on this icon, the folder icon, and it says open files. It's exactly the same as click on this icon, open. As you can see, is the same icon. So if you check and you click here, you get this window. If you click here, you get exactly the same window. So, here's the thing, uh, you have this uh, bar where it says files of type, so it means what kind of files do you want to open, and it's set on .dwg, that's the extension of AutoCAD drawings, that's why you see this particular icon, which means it's an AutoCAD drawing, and it shows you this folders with the .cip extension, which is a zip uh, file that contains inside an AutoCAD drawing, and that's why it shows you this kind of uh, files. So, let's check it out with this bar, look in, it's a drop-down menu, you check where are you looking in your computer, and it shows you where your files are. Here is the desktop icon, so it shows you the desktop. As you can see, we don't have any DWG file on the desktop. So let's go back to the last location. It was on download. So uh, if you want to open a file, it's already done or it or already saved on your computer that's the way you can look in your computer so if you can see let's say is this uh, one file look it opened the file there is another um, titles where you can click on but I don't recommend you because this open a sheet set as it sets on the title so there are many uh, it's a set of many sheets you don't want to work with it right now get more templates online we're not interested to get online and explore sample drawings it's uh, just uh, some sample drawings as it says on the title that uh, AutoCAD gave you but you don't want to work with this yet so uh, we click on this icon it creates a blank drawing file so when you click on this on this symbol it shows you this uh, picture. It always, or usually, it's set on this 
option. A cat.dwt. That is the kind of template you want to use. Uh, you pick open and it will open a new file exactly the same way we did before with the other icon. As you see, this is drawing five because we opened recently another four before, so it just keep uh, the sequence. Let's uh, close it. Once again, you click on the icon with the blank, with the white sheet. And if in case that it's set on another category like tutorial, arc or IMFG or whatever it's set on, you just, mu you must pick the third one. It's usually the third one or the third option that it's a cat dot dwt this is a very similar option like when you are open in a mac system just that before you pick uh, the new option just right at the left on the menu so let's uh, click on the open button again and we have a totally new drop Universidad Santo Tomás, institución sujeta a inspección y vigilancia por el Ministerio de Educación Nacional.